Nick, patience played such a huge part in this, waiting for opportunities and not getting too excited when there hadn't been any goals scored, not jumping when you didn't need to jump. Uh, talk about that aspect of the game today. Yeah, we talked about that, especially against this team. And this team is, is uh, a very dangerous team that if, you, if, you, if you're not patient, like you said, they, they can make you pay. And, uh, and I thought for the most part tonight we were. We, we found ways to you know, kind of quiet them down. And uh, I think it hurt us a little bit early on because I don't think we were trying to generate as much offense as we, sh we normally would. But uh, once we kind of got uh, that mindset again in the third, I think we started to create more chances and, and you know get going again. And um, you know, it was a big difference in the game. Was there a time there where it's just the sense of urgency that says, okay, we can't really afford to be patient at this stage. We got to push a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, you're down one at home, power play at uh, start the period, and thought we got a lot of momentum off that, and then uh, you know, and then we just started to roll after that. So, um, but we knew we, we had to get one. We had to find a way, manufacture some offense, and um, and we really, like I said, in the first and second, we were playing a little bit. I thought a little bit too safe. Um, um, you know, and, and playing good defense. And that's something we wanted to focus on because I kind of slipped in past games. But I think we found our way to, to balance both in the third where we got offense and defense and, uh, and, and, you know, got rewarded for it in overtime. At what point were people saying, check that call, make sure that was a goal and that wasn't offside? That was unbelievable. I actually, I didn't even know. I was on the ice and I was mad that it even went in. Just, uh, you know, we're all around it and just somehow pokes free. And uh, what a great call by Dan Singleton. Uh, we, owe him, uh, we owe him a beer after this one. So... <laughs> Uh, it was. It was. Uh, that's that's part of. It. Everyone has their part. You know, Danny makes a big part, and and, and calling that one, uh, and then we go down and and uh, you know keep it one one and go down in overtime and score. And um, you know, like I said, everyone's a big important part of this machine here. Yeah, and Dan Singleton, he's your video coach. He's sitting in a room in the back. He doesn't even get to be near the bench. I mean, he's in a closet just watching the game. But you can make the calls from anywhere, right? Absolutely. I mean, uh, he he deserves a bigger office now. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, that's. What, I mean, he he's uh, he's a big part of this. Those guys don't get uh, recognized nice too often but uh, you know to have him make that call and then we jump all over it and uh, turns the tide of the game really uh, allows us to get back into it and then find a way in overtime that's a huge uh, huge extra point for us you guys are a confidence team I think you have been the last three or four years when you have confidence it's hard for anybody to stop you and it looks like you feel that way right now do you agree I agree, but I think what I like most about it is that we're confident, but we understand that we're we're a team that has to work to gain that confidence, and it's not uh, we're not flighty. I find anymore where you know one from one game to the next, you're, you're up and down and all over. And I find we have a, a quiet confidence. I say about us, and I like that. I like that the guys come to work every day knowing we need to get better. We're not where we want to be, um, even with this one. We're not in the playoff spot, so there's lots to improve on. And uh, I like that the guys are, are feeling good about us uh, moving up here. I agree, and I like that. Not flighty anymore. Thanks, Dick. Exactly. <laughs>